today I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Yes, guys, it has been a while. <laughs> I recorded that uh, Hunger Games pod thing a while ago. I just ended up just now posting it just a few days ago or a week ago or something like that. I don't know exactly when I posted it, but... Anyways, guys, we are back on to another tutorial, and this is a binary counter. So, we got one, two, three, four. Oh, it destroyed it. Whoops. <laughs> four, <laughs> and five, and so on, so on. <laughs> okay. So, guys, this is probably the most simple build that you guys will see in a while. So, it's... 12 the max is 12 the max is 12 lights you can go to 10 you can go to however many you can go to five if you wanted so how this works is this sand can float on a block if it doesn't fall now if it falls like this it'll break but if it's just placed like that it'll float it's pretty that's pretty common sense and what happens is this torch powers the block above it, which is the sand, which ends up powering this redstone lamp right there. And as you guys can see, there's no hidden redstone or anything like that. It's completely, it's just redstone torches. 12 redstone torches, 12 redstone lamps, or however many you guys need. Uh, 13 pieces of sand and however you want to, uh, whatever you want to decorate it with. And one piston and obviously you need an input. So, you could have this be, oh shoot, you could have it be a pressure plate, you could be it, uh, you could have it be a tripwire, anything. Anything that'll send a, a, uh, pulse to this, not, it can't be like a lever or else it'll just stay there. So, if you just press this once, it'll just keep, just keep counting. So, I'm not going to go into our into the void world to build this because it's so simple. So, we're just going to build it right behind it. So, we're going to go over 13 blocks, right? Um, yeah, 13 blocks. And then, we'll put these on the front like this, and then like this. Now, the front is kind of, is pretty, uh, pretty easy to kind of decorate. You can go blocks out in front, you can go no blocks in front, no matter what, it looks good, pretty much just depends on what your purpose is. So next, we will put, uh, we will dig down one, real quick, just like that, and then we will put down our block, now if we, if these weren't half slabs, I wouldn't be able to do this, so, now let's just put our redstone torches on the blocks like this. I don't understand the new hitboxes. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So, next, we are going to put uh, put a block right here, a block right here. Put, oh, whoops, we need to go out one more, I think. Uh, yeah, we need to go out one more. So, let's put a regular piston right there. And then, we will build up one, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is the most amount of sand that you will need unless you're doing some fancy sort of thing where you where it like drops and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to do. but <laughs> oh, So now all you need is a button and you're good to go. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's super simple, guys. Super, super simple. And it can go up to 12. Here, we'll just we'll just simulate that by just going like this and it if you come back and press this button it can't go any further it can't push anything so max is 12 because of the max of the maximum amount of, amount of pistons you uh, the maximum amount of blocks a piston can push is 12 so that that's pretty much it guys it's pretty simple build pretty pretty useful. So, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the vid video, please leave a like. Let's try to get to five likes. Also, if you enjoyed the video, well, please subscribe to stay up to date with my Minecraft Let's Play, GTA Let's Play, uh, some mini games, some tutorials. So, anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.